I'm sure you've been seeing quite a lot of gift box businesses going around on TikTok. So let's talk about how you can actually do that as well because I know damn well you're thinking about it. That's the reason why you actually found this video. So let's talk about how to actually start your own gift box business because i know they're trying to start that business and we're not going to allow anything to stop us from doing what we actually want to do but before i move on i have exciting news for you for every single person that wants to start a gift box business i am going to be hosting a four-week masterclass with everyone that wants to start a gift box business where we're actually going to be deciding what gift box business to start where to find suppliers and so on i will be working with you one on one this is a program that is meant to help you get started with your business i know that you actually want to start your business but honestly you have no idea how to actually go about it now as much as this video is going to help you with you know some tips on how to get started it's not as in-depth as i would like it to be and that's mostly because it would go on for quite a few hours if i had to you know make it as in-depth as i want it to be but if you want me to work with you you want me to actually guide you through how to actually get started with your business you have an idea you have the money you're ready to get started but you're just not sure what steps you need to take then make sure that you actually go and you sign up it's only 1000 rand so please make sure that you sign up because we're going to be getting started from the first week of march now make sure that you go and you check out my description it will have more information on that and then we can actually get started with working together as soon as possible before we go far please make sure that you like and you subscribe and i'd love for you to actually keep me up to date like you have any questions you know dm me on instagram it's the same username learn with lerato dm me on tiktok yes you can dm people on tiktok if you did not know um and let me know okay do you need help with something do you need certain information do you want to inquire about the masterclass the four-week masterclass that i just told you about make sure that you actually do so because i will answer your questions and i'm always willing to actually have a conversation with my audience now let's jump straight into it step one you need to choose the gift box business idea that you actually want to start you can sell a snack box a bath and body gift box. you can sell baby baskets a spring cleaning gift basket a spa gift box an exam care box a self-care box a birthday box a period box and a diy craft box now these are just some business ideas that you can actually choose from but it's very important that you choose one you need to make sure that you figure out which one you actually want to start number two you need to choose a signature gift box which gift box are you going to be known for this is something that you need to decide is it going to be the self-care box within the self-care box what's going to be inside it who is this gift box for all of these things will help you decide on your signature gift box and what's going to be inside the signature gift box the reason why we call it the signature gift box is because it's what's going to basically start off your business okay this is the gift box that's going to get people to know who you are and each time that people talk about you it's this gift box that they're going to be talking about number three you need to choose who you are selling this gift box to as much as you might choose to start a birthday gift box is it birthdays for one year old is it birthdays for 20 year olds is it a 21st birthday box what is it like you need to actually decide who your target audience is and as much as the birthday box might be for someone who's 21 years old it might be directed or rather you might actually target parents of a 21 year old that's something else that you need to take into consideration your target audience might not be the person that uses the gift box but someone that actually gifts the gift box to the person who the gift box is made for okay because something that you need to understand with the gift box is that it is gifting you are giving it to someone or else you are using the gift as a way to uh the gift box as a way to uh for someone to gift themselves so they buy this gift for themselves so that's you gifting them so either way you need to think about all these things and determining who your target audience is is going to be very very important in figuring out how to talk to your target audience you see you might be selling a birthday gift box for a 21 year old but you're not going to talk in the same lingo or you know you're not going to talk to a gen z you are talking to the parent of a gen z because they're the ones that are actually going to be maybe uh, buying the gift box for the 21 year old four you need to find suppliers now when it comes to actually finding suppliers something i need you to understand is that it's best that you buy in bulk look for suppliers that can give you whatever it is that you need 
in bulk you don't want to be buying each thing one 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 because that means that your gift basket is going to be very important and if the person that you're targeting cannot afford it that's you already going a very different direction make sure that whatever it is that you are putting in your gift basket does not end up you know lowering the profit that you could actually make you don't want to put something that's going to be worth 100 rand like you pay 100 rand for each of that thing and yet your gift basket is 200 rand already you haven't put anything else and already the prices it's not it's not matching okay so you need to make sure that you can find things that can actually be bought in bulk that way it's easier for you to actually you know come up with your gift basket now i have seen some um snack box things that you can put in snack boxes and stuff from take a lot so please make sure that you check that out i've seen some um things also at macro but those are a lot of the things that you'll find are like snacks and whatnot it's easier to find things that are for snacks and then when it comes to like self-care things you have to go onto clicks you have to go into discam and so on and compare prices and look for other people that might sell the same thing that you're looking for or even take a lot guys i'm going to talk about take a lot quite a lot because take a lot has a lot okay has a lot of things that you can actually buy and it's usually not as expensive if i could say um i'm sorry if you are an international you know person uh <laughs> firstly thank you for being here but um if you are someone who's from outside of south africa i honestly cannot give you any supplier hints or like tips but wherever you are please uh, try by all means to buy things in bulk because it makes it so much cheaper for you lastly number five you need to think about the delivery before we move on to actually finding korea companies that you can be using um to deliver your products to your customers let's actually talk about something that's very important the presentation that you have for your gift basket you need to understand something your gift basket is very very important the way that you're going to be presenting it to your client to your customer is very important because it is a gift you're going to have to wrap it a certain way you need to decorate it you need to make sure that it looks nice it looks like a gift it shouldn't just come looking somehow okay you're not selling the product inside you're selling the gift itself the entirety of the gift itself which means the box as well it needs to have some type of decoration on it it needs to have some type of design on it something that's going to make it look pleasing to the eyes so that people continue buying from you that's the most important thing that you need to think of that you need to take into consideration okay so you need to make sure that they are thank you notes make sure that the of the decor on the box itself whether you're going to buy a stamp so that you can have your uh your logo or your design or something on there you need to make it as personalized as possible and make it feel like it is a gift okay whether you're going to be writing that it is a gift from the client who ordered it from you or you're going to be writing that it's a gift from you to your client then you need to make sure that you write it as such i've seen some amazing examples of gift box uh gift basket that are so personalized and they feel like gifts because that's what they're supposed to feel like they're supposed to feel like gifts and not just something yeah that thing was just called that someone just gives to you so you need to take that into consideration now when it comes to the delivery there are many korea companies that you can use i will like i said talk about the ones that are in south africa you can use poodle korea guy postnet aramax and pexi these are just some honestly these are very few examples we will have a proper video on the different korea services or korea companies that you can actually use for your business make sure that you actually go and you check them out for everyone else that is not in south africa just search korea companies you will find some that you can actually use to deliver the products to your customers the best way you can actually go about it is look for a korea company that actually delivers to your customer's house make sure also that you either have the delivery fee already calculated into the amount um of the box so for example if your box is 250 but then you have 50 rand for delivery so it's now 300 rand so you don't have to mention it or you have your gift basket at 250 and then you say delivery is 50 rand you can do that but please make sure that you are not the one who's going to be paying for the delivery because it's going to be very straining for you because already your your profit margins are quite low especially for a gift 
business because a lot of the times the products that you're putting into the gift are going to be expensive that's that's one thing i need you to take into consideration now i hope you enjoyed this video like i said i have a four-week program that's going to take you through every single step that you need to take everything from how to start this business naming the business and then going as far as finding your target audience marketing your business the content ideas creating a content calendar every single thing that you will need to launch your business in 30 days this four week program is to help you launch your gift box business in 30 days you need to make sure that you are prepared to get started now make sure that you actually go and you check it out in the description below so you can actually sign up for it i look forward to hearing from you and i look forward to actually having you as one of the people that are actually going to be starting their own businesses you've been procrastinating for long enough it's about time that you actually get started